Hello everybody, my name is Zach. I am president of Yukon Kodama Taiko and director of the East Coast Taiko Conference. We are really excited to host this year's conference. Thank you so much for watching this video. A little bit about myself, I've been playing Taiko for about three and a half years. I'm excited to be part of this club and a fun fact about me, I've been hang gliding before. And now we have Stuart Payton with us. Hi, let's see, I grew up in Tokyo. My Taiko age is 35 and I'm a member of Burlington Taiko. Um, and I started with uh, Tanaka Sage Sensei and San Francisco Taiko Dojo. Started with him in 1984. And we just hosted Ringo Matsuri here in, you know, just, just south of Burlington, Vermont. We had 90 Taiko players from 11 Taiko groups, I think. Wow. Um, it was a casual and warm gathering. So, Stuart, we have a couple questions for you to get the audience to know you a little bit. Um, so the first thing, you've been to a lot of ECTCs. You've been a really big, prominent figure in ECTCs in the past. So can you tell the audience what's one thing that stands out to you as a really memorable moment of a past East Coast Taiko conference? A specific moment? I'm going to have to think about that. Um, but the, the fellowship at ECTCs, I think, is a really potent aspect of the gathering and um, being able to see Taiko friends and Taiko acquaintances from, you know, from, from the region, but also other parts of the world too, other parts of the Taiko world, um, that's a really cool thing. And I got to say, the, the merchant room is, is a big plus. What's one, one aspect of this conference that you're really looking forward to this year and every year um, to try and get with that community? Uh, I like the, the connections that more experienced Taiko people have with newer Taiko people. And um, the, the sharing of information. Um, and I like the, uh, I, I'm looking forward to the open-minded sharing of, you know, Topics like taiko technique, drum making technique. I'm really excited about um, preparing skins for taiko too. Awesome. We're excited to have you, Stuart. So we have a little bit of a left field question. What is the most unusual place you have ever played taiko? The most unusual place? I guess part of my life is going past my eyes. Um, let's see. One of them was um, in Eastern Vermont. Uh, we, we played for a, a big celebration near Woodstock. Uh, we played in between standing stones um, with this Odaiko, this Odaiko. And um, it was a big grassy field and we had to go 20 feet down into a pit. Um, and the gig was a blast. There were fire dancers, and we discovered that once the dew started to stick to the grass, it was really hard to push the old daiko out of this pit. It was a very steep incline. <laughs> um, so that was cool. We are in the great state of Vermont. What's your favorite Ben & Jerry's flavor? My favorite Ben & Jerry's flavor, um, <sighs> coffee, coffee, buzz, 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 which isn't made anymore. But um, we used to be able to buy factory seconds, so all the mistakes from the factory would end up in, in pints. You could get them for a dollar and a quarter um, at local gasoline stations. And after finishing a conga drumming gig at a ski area two hours away in the middle of the winter, um, I would buy two of those factory seconds. So where can everybody stay tuned for news about Burlington Taiko or you? Do you guys have a website or a Facebook page? We have a websi website and Facebook, um, burlingtontaiko.org, and you can find us on Facebook. And we're also good with word of mouth. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Stuart. This has been great. I hope you guys are looking forward to having Stuart Payton as much as I am at ECTC 2020. So please stay tuned for more workshop leader announcements. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. Thanks, Zach. Thanks, Yukon. Volunteer for ECTC 20. Let's see. 
as a final act in this universe, I think rolling down the hill on an Odaiko has potential. 